Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 7th of September 1813, according to tradition, the United States gained its nickname Uncle Sam when it was featured in a local newspaper article. Samuel Wilson's meatpacking business flourished with the onset of the War of 1812 after Albert Anderson subcontracted Wilson to provide meat for a government contract to feed troops in New York and New Jersey. The salted meat was packed into barrels marked EA for Albert Anderson and US for the United States, an abbreviation that an employee instead claimed was named for Uncle Sam. According to the traditional story, the nickname spread through the employees and later the army, where the nickname was picked up by a local broadside about the ongoing war. Although the nickname spread during the War of 1812, this account only began to receive broader recognition after an anonymous article in the New York Gazette in 1830. Historians have since questioned the origin. Albert Matthews, writing in the Proceedings of the American Antiquarian Society in 1908, and more recent work by Professor Donald R. Hickey, identified references to Uncle Sam as far back as 1810. This makes it unlikely that Samuel Wilson's wartime barrels of salted meat actually inspired the nickname. Whatever the true origin of the Uncle Sam moniker, in September 1961, a joint resolution of Congress recognised meatpacker Samuel Wilson from Troy, New York State, as the progenitor of America's national symbol of Uncle Sam. Nevertheless, Wilson looked nothing like the popular image of Uncle Sam that we're used to seeing today. That image of the tall, skinny man in red and white striped pants with stars on his coat complete with a white goatee and top hat, only began to take shape thanks to the work of political cartoonist Thomas Nast from the later 1860s. <laughs>